Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the new series we're going to try out. This is called Storytime Cancer Blessings on Blessings. Okay, your first up, how the cancer falls in your chart. General message, guys. Take what's for you. Leave the rest behind. I have kids. Equal energy exchange. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. Come on, let's beat the algorithm. For real. Like, come on, man. But, um... In cancer, yeah, so I started shuffling out. I'm only, I only started with one deck, so we're going to work with the JT Oracle for everybody. And we'll just see, you know, where we're guided here. But underneath your deck, you guys are already starting with the Power Center 16, breaking down to a 7. 7 July, cancer season, stand up. It's y'all, all right? But this is y'all force, y'all solar return. Like, I, I, the sun, I see it, you know? Y'all celebrating, y'all doing y'all thing, Okay. Yeah, having a good time, speaking your truths, following your gut, living life, living. So let's get into story time. Spirit, let's see what message do we have here for our Cancer Energy story time. Okay. I see a lot of you guys working on yourself, you know, changing things up. A lot of you guys also could feel that it's time for a change. And you're you're doing it. It's your season. So let's see. Just take it right off the top. I'm not even gonna struggle for it today. Cancer writing. Yes, rewriting your life, rewriting your structure, building. Okay, some of you guys could be signing contracts, getting homes, moving, getting leases, come seeing building box family for okay, cancer, that is you, home life, okay. Your house. But, um, yeah, some of you guys are also learning, doing a lot more studying here, okay? What is it? Seven books, seven cancer. There you go again, all right? Somebody's also digging for knowledge here. Yeah, gathering underneath the deck, 36. Break it down to a nine, really understanding yourself, discovering who your star player is, okay? Following your intuition here in regards to what fulfills you. So, yeah, we are going to pull from the light seers for you guys. Let's see what we get real quick, spirit. Cancer. July 5th, 2021. Next seven days. Cancer. Main energy for cancer here. Ah, oh, don't make me pull. <laughs> okay. Oh, Cancer, there you are in a very uh, youthful, caring energy, okay? Thinking about love, could be thinking about somebody that you've already made a connection to. Not sure whether or not it's worth making this offer or if, you, um, or if you're going to be lucky. Um, I'm feeling like, you know, some of you guys are trying to figure out how to come come together with someone. I, I heard it, the Beatles, come together, especially with this rainbow, like a cuckoo for you. Across the universe, so you could be at a distance from somebody, all right? Especially with this water, yeah, and it's like really, it, it hurts. Like, there could be major interference, doesn't necessarily have to be love, but whatever this was, you know, it was very painful. Like, um, something came in between what you had with someone this is this is love for you guys oh that is a lot spirit okay yeah you're very hurt scorpio energy five cups all right let's see influent oh no yep third party <laughs> emotional at that okay Somebody could have felt like they missed an opportunity to come back around. Yeah, four of cups. Damn, is she psychic? Somebody feel like they missed an opportunity to come back around. And now they don't know if they can be lucky again with you, Cancer. You could be dealing with another water energy here. Or this is just somebody who's emotional about you, who cares about you, who have feelings for you. They see a new beginning here. 
But I feel that it could have been someone else in the way here. It could have been a lifestyle. could have been a way of living. Um, they could have thought that they, they felt, you know, like they wanted whatever this was that was in front of them. Like, I feel like, especially with these, the back, all their backs are turned and they're staring up at, at the Big Dipper. It's like someone trying to follow their way. I feel like drinking, indulging, somebody could have got hit to the um, nightlife because I'm hearing the drinking gourd, but like drinking, you know. With the seven of cups, somebody also could have, been, well, because I'm seeing seven, four and three, seven cups. Somebody could have been caught up in an illusion. Somebody could have, yeah, been being drugged even, like caught up in an illusion. And they're realizing this here and feeling like, oh my gosh, have I missed an opportunity here? I feel like this this could be a letter. I'm seeing four page letter now, now that I'm getting this to here. Somebody could be getting it together to come and write some sort of four page letter here. Yeah, see, there's a family dynamic that's in the way. Somebody has some other obligation, probably a child or two or three <laughs> or four. Yeah, there's that three of swords again. So, yeah, it definitely was a third party situation. Somebody is trying to choose between love and money. Again, for some of you guys, this is wanting to move and actually like following your dreams here. Especially, you know, if you are getting ready to sign new contracts, you know, on um, home leases, things of that nature, just getting ready to move out, rebuilding yourself, okay, understanding who you are. Some of you guys could, you know, feel a little hurt about having to leave behind a family dynamic, a situation, you know, to move on and pursue what it is that you dream of, you know, what it is that you really want, what really fulfills you. You gotta be a badass here, Cancer. You gotta find that courage here. Yeah, there's that Seven of Cups here. Stop sipping the Kool-Aid. It is what it is. You see things for what it is as well, okay? Your intuition is not leading you astray when it comes to the situation. Let's get one from the after. Yeah, see? <laughs> Stop sipping the Kool-Aid, okay? Cancer here. Somebody is... being greedy or like taking from you off your plate and you see that yeah you gotta let this shit go nail in the coffin lay it to rest because i feel like somebody else is gonna try to take you out if you don't remove yourself from the situation yeah somebody's gonna try to take you out could be a fire sign aries eel sag sag eight of wands could be wanting to take you out it's Gemini energy, ten of swords. We got the queen of wands out here, more on fire. Aries, Leo, Sash, ten of pentacles, Virgo, three of cups. It's cancer energy. Page of cups, water here, seven of cups. Scorpio, okay. Let's get you a moology and we'll wrap this up. Yeah, bring love into the situation. Love for yourself. Hold your vision, whatever it is that you've been writing about gathering. How you're putting your life into perspective. It's time for you to do that. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. So, Spirit, final message here for our cancer energy. Please and thank you. Surrender to the divine, cancer. Your commitment is being tested. And I feel like it's your commitment to yourself. How much do you want this new beginning for yourself? your power center as we go back to the beginning, okay? Don't allow yourself to be confused. Next one is, uh, yeah, work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. We got that new moon coming up at the end of the week. So, it's your time to shine, Cancer. If you need to book a message, all that's listed below. You know where to find me. Deuces.